Do you ever just need a break? Okay, that's a silly question. Of course you do. We all do. The world is stressful. Life is stressful. And games are great for reducing stress. There's the simple release of aggression from killing enemies, the rush of mastering a skill, the catharsis of living a story of tragedy or struggle. And then there's sheer escapism into a beautiful, wholesome, peaceful world where nothing at all wants to hurt you and there's something to make you smile around every turn. In Beasts of Maravilla Island, your only job is to take pictures. Your grandfather left you a journal full of notes about the incredible wildlife on a mysterious hidden island. Your task is to go there and document all of the flora and fauna with your camera. On your way, you explore three different biomes, each with their own ecosystems. Occasionally, you need to solve a simple puzzle to get the shots you need, but the challenge level is very low. If you keep a sharp eye out and explore all the areas, you shouldn't have any trouble finding everything. I was having a rough day when I loaded up the game to test it out, and within a few minutes, my mood had changed completely. The bright, friendly colors, the simple challenge of finding all the plants and animals to photograph, and the cheerful, friendly behaviors of the creatures all combined to lift my spirits and keep me smiling from beginning to end. My favorite area by far is the river, a neon wonderland of bioluminescence and mushrooms. It's like it was made just for me. I could live there. There's no such thing as a perfect game, of course. There's some glitchiness now and then, and occasionally there might be frozen animals in the background of cutscenes and other bits of oddness, but nothing that interferes with the gameplay. The only real disappointment for me was how short it is. I completed the game in a little over two hours. And that's not a complaint about the game not being worth the money or anything like that, but I loved the world so much that I really would have liked a lot more of it to explore. I also felt a bit like the final area was a little compressed and small compared to the other two. Almost all of the things to photograph are visible the moment you step onto the plateau, and there's not much area to actually explore. It almost felt like maybe the developers were running out of time or maybe money and had to rush the last bit. I would have liked more. But really, that's just a testament to how lovely this little world really is that I was so disappointed to see it end. If you think you could do with a couple of hours exploring this beautiful world and the creatures that inhabit it, Beasts of Maravilla Island is a wonderful escape from the world. I especially recommend it to families with children. The controls and gameplay are simple enough even for younger kids to manage, and it would make a wonderful activity for parents and children to do together, and learn a little about ecosystems and wilderness conservation, and just respect for nature in general. For more indie game reviews, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Making these videos is a full-time job I don't get paid for, so if you have the means, consider signing up as a patron at patreon.com slash secretfoxfire, where I have loads of rewards starting at just a dollar. And if you can't become a patron, you can help me out a lot just by sharing this video with a friend. An enormous, heartfelt thank you to my patrons, whose support is a light in dark times. And of course, thank you for watching.